Hey guys, Tanner here with another Digimon Rearise video. I actually recorded a video just for Omega Mon just a while ago, but we'll be uploading it after this video. Today, we will be taking a look at Holy Dramon or Magna Dramon, which will be coming in just a couple of hours time. Again, Riku reviewed this some time ago, you know, along with Lilith Mon review. Check out the Lilith Mon video if you're interested. So let's take a quick look at the notice page to see her skills. Notice page. The banner always looks really nice, so I kind of like that. Step up summon now available. Okay, so it's going to be in a couple of hours time, even though it's actually 19 March right over here in Singapore. But uh, I think my clock here, my emulator clock here actually follows the probably EST or something. EST or EST, I'm not really sure. Okay, Digimon Chain, they can Digivolve into Devoted Mega Magna Dramon. Okay, they'll be calling it Magna Dramon. So let's just call it Mag Magna Dramon from today's video onwards. Okay, and also Brave Mega Hercules Kabuterimon, which I will also be covering in this video. So first time guaranteed Mega Kabuteri. Okay, so the guaranteed step up banner unit is going to be Mega Kabuterimon. So you are going to aim for her while most likely getting him as well so you know okay so duh, duh, duh. okay so and of course as usual there will be a clash battle uh effects uh relating to this new summon banner so both of them will have a uh, 30 percent extra rate points and 10 percent stat okay these are the featured digimon in this banner okay magna dramon magna dramon hercules carboteri okay these two digimon so the step up details as usual you know 50 digirubis uh i would have put even though i I don't even have enough rip digirubis this time. So I used to have like, you know, like a lot more of digirubis, but not anymore. Okay, so as usual, step one, 50 rubies, and then da da da. Okay, so a total of 570 digirubis to get Hercules Carboterimon. Comes with like kill stones, like plug in boosters, you know, kind of miscellaneous stuff. Okay, then make the drum on here, okay, looking pretty in pink. Okay, so, okay, let's, important thing, okay, let's take a look at her skills right now. Okay, it doesn't say here, but uh, her stats, okay, her stats are actually 6,133 HP, attack at 1936, which is on the low side, defense is also kind of low at 1584, and finally speed at 12, which is really slow as well. Okay, her main skill, Holy Flame at skill level 1, okay, it does 280% damage to 3 enemies, it boosts all allies tech damage resistance by 30% for 2 turns, and finally it boosts all allies block rate by 30% for 2 turns. This is a nice skill to have for a more defensive approach, since Holy Dramon is more like a support unit, so it's gotta have like more defensive skill. So more damage, resistance, and more block is definitely good, even though we're having more Digimon that kind of bypass block now. Okay, next her sub skill is Revive Recovery, okay? At skill level one, okay, it says Revitalize here. Okay, so at skill level one, it revives one ally with 50% HP, and it also heal all other allies by 25% HP. This is what you want in the healer, you know, like an all-in-one package. The ability to revive them, also to heal the rest of the team in one skill. I bet the heal is on the low side. And finally, the passive skill, own immunity to skill seal for one turn to prevent being skill locked, you know, by enemies. And then also it reduces all enemies tech by 30% for two turns. Okay, a passive is also amazing to have even though it only applies to tech but not power. And having that skill seal immunity means you, you'll most likely be able to use both skills when she's alive. Okay, explanation. One of the best, if not the best green healer Digimon for global at the moment. It has good stats, so it won't die easily. Basically, it's a combination of Magna and Marine and Gmon and a healer where her sub skill revives a dead ally with 50% HP plus heals all allies by 25%, so you won't have to use two separate skills on reviving and healing and waste turn. A passive prevents the enemy from skill locking it, so you don't have to worry about not being able to get the sub skill off. The secondary passive effect and main skill effect aren't much at the moment, but they're really useful when tech meta rolls in. Verdict. This Digimon can be used in any and all setups, not only yellow and green, and I highly recommend it if you need a healer. And in yellow green Digimon, this is one of the cornerstones to making it better. Ratings, Clash Battle S rank, PvP S rank. And that's all for the review for Magna and Gmon. Okay, next up for Hercules Kabuterimon. Okay, the review for Hercules Kabuterimon right here. Uh, this review is actually done by a different person, it's not really cool, but Alice on Discord as well. So thank you Alice for providing this re review. Okay, so Hercules Kabuterimon bracket rate review. Okay, the stats and skills. Okay, scroll down right here. Okay, looking pretty glorious in all gold. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave it here. Okay, Hercules Carpentry Mons skills and stats. Okay, his stats is actually HP 5091, HP power at 3520, defense 1613, and speed 30. He's really, really fast for a beetle, I think. So, main skill Giga Blaster. Okay, at le skill level 1 to skill level 10, it deals 280% damage to 420% damage to 3 enemies. It decreases 3 enemy targets defense by 30% for 2 turns. It also decreases the same 3 enemy targets counter rate by 30% for 2 turns. Okay, next is sub skill is P and T Break Spectrum. I have no idea what this P and T stands for, but okay, it deals 130% damage to 200% damage to all enemies while decreasing all enemies targets power and tech by 30% for 2 turns. This is really nice to have. And finally, passive nullifies basically all the dots. Poison, burn, arrow effects targeting brave allies only. Oh, he's uh, that's is actually here. Okay, so overview if you're on your way to chase Magna Dramon, most likely you will end up to add this new introduction to your roster since it's the guaranteed Digimon on the final step of the upcoming banner. Overall, stats are okay and similar to other common red Digimon out there at the moment, like Seraphimon or Boatmon. While in terms of pure damage, Achilles Carpentry Mon is underwhelming. The debuff that it provides from his main and sub skills will come in handy due to the white area that it can cover so it's more like a support unit for brave digimon passive skill giving protection to all the dot condition that you can face is a nice add for a digimon built to assist your main red dps in battle park for cash battle purpose probably it won't be on your team almost never but carpentry mon is currently a bonus digimon and if you're struggling with error inflicted by diablo mon it can help you to deal with it or in conclusion if it comes in a limited banner this would have been a skip suggestion but as i stated before if you're planning to chase the pink dragon that's not a bad constellation price so ratings a tier in pvp for red team d tier in pvp for non-red team and finally d tier for clash battle so even though it's like a skip you'll probably get him anyway so yeah that's it for today's review i hope you guys enjoy this video it's a relatively short video it's with my other review videos so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe for more digimon re Arise content uh, like this video and comment right down below what do you think of Holy Dramon or Magna Dramon. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video, which I will be uh, working on my Omega Mon here, which I've already done so. Right here. Ta-da! It's done. Yeah. Okay, okay. See you guys. Bye-bye.